everybody that comes in here says, oh, it's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. The Whistle Stop Cafe in High River has a brand new owner. David Moretta has bought the dining car from previous owners, Dwayne and Patty Johnson, who ran the Whistle Stop for near all of the 30 years it's been in operation. Moretta, who's taking a two-year culinary arts program at SAIT just to be able to run the operation, says now was a great time to buy the business. Well, this is the, uh, the 70th birthday of the car. It was uh, built in 1947. And so this is also the 30th anniversary of the car being here in High River. Uh, so it was renovated, fully renovated 30 years ago, but uh, since then not much has been done. So um, it is a landmark here in town and it's, you know, up to, uh, it's up to me to sort of, uh, if I'm going to buy the business, I have to restore the car as well, because it wasn't just about buying the restaurant. The commitment is also to restore the car. Moretta says after 30 years, the car needs some work done, particularly to the roof, but overall it's going to take some time to get it where he wants it. There's about three or four phases to this full restoration, which is going to take two to three years to fully do. Phase one is the roof. Then we'll probably be doing the outside and exterior. We'll pop all the windows, replace all the gaskets which are gone, repaint, uh, and really freshen the whole thing up as well. We'll be doing some interior renovations just to update things, and then we'll restore the patio as well on the front. He says other than the roof issues, which aren't as serious as some might think, the car, despite its age, is in remarkable shape. We've had a really good in top to bottom you know, look at this car. It's solid. It was built to last. And you know, after this, it will last another 30 years as well. But it, it's just so important to save this as a landmark for the town. You know, it's been here for 30 years. It's part of the town. Uh, it's a big draw for tourists. Now that it's right here as well with the Tourist Visitor Center, it's really important that this sort of looks as good as the rest of the town does now as well. Moretta says fans of the Whistle Stop shouldn't worry about wholesale changes to what is a big lunch stop in town. And there's certainly no change in the menu. Um, you know, we're not making any major changes or anything like that. I'm in a two-year program, so this is a two-year transition for me, and, uh, you know, what works, works, and in the end, you know, we'll be making additions to what Dwayne and Patty have, you know, already built up. We're not going to change everything dramatically. We'll be adding dinners, we'll be adding wine and beer, uh, and we'll be adding the patio. Uh, but what they were, what they built works, and we just want to make it work better. Moretta says he hopes to have the restaurant back into service by the end of October. Once the main repairs have been done to the roof, he says the plan is to be up and running during most, if not all, of the renovation process.